ten signs to note that demonic altars are fighting against you and what you need to do to overcome them and live successfully. Powerful ways to prevail over the devil and his plans against your life. In the journey of faith, we often encounter battles that test our resolve, shake our foundations, and attempt to derail us from fulfilling God's purpose for our lives. Just as light dispels darkness, the forces of darkness seek to hinder our spiritual growth, disrupt our relationships, and steal our joy. One of the ways these dark forces operate is through demonic altars, using deceit, depression, and confusion as their weapons. However, with unwavering faith in God's word, we can rise above these challenges and claim the victory promised to us. Let's explore 10 signs that demonic altars may be fighting against you, along with the empowering biblical references to overcome them. But before I continue, please subscribe to this channel for more videos, and also do your best by watching this video to the end, because it is an exposition of the things that Satan uses against people, and the devil will certainly fight you to ensure you don't know this. For the devil knows that when you happen upon the truth of the knowledge of God, then your deliverance has come. And since he will not want you to be freed, he will do his best to distract you. So ensure you defeat the devil by staying till the end. And more so, at the end of the video, powerful prayer will be prayed to God to disarm the power of the devil from your life. And you don't need to miss that prayer for anything. So stay with me to the end, as you receive the knowledge that will set you above the works of the devil. Remain blessed as you listen. Here are 10 signs that the altars of the devil is fighting against you. And I also give powerful remedies to them all. For every signs that is giving, I give the solution on how to overcome it and how to deal with the spirit responsible for that sign. So after this video, you will have the perfect understanding on how to deal with demonic altars fighting against you. Now let's delve into the signs. Number one, incessant fear. Permit me to start by saying that fear is not just a feeling, it is a spirit. And this spirit called fear is not from God. For the Bible says that you have not received the spirit of fear, but of love, of faith and sound mind. So if we have not received the spirit of fear from God, then from whence did it come from? This is a clear show that fear is a spirit that is of the devil. And anytime you feel scared, it is an indication that devil is around you. That is why sometimes while you pray at night or you pass across some lonely places at night, you will have some strange feelings. These are signs that the devil is around such an area. Demonic altars thrive on fear, feeding off our insecurities and doubts. The devil knows that once you become afraid, then he can launch an attack on you. But remember the words of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, which says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Anytime you feel fearful, just stand strong and rebuke that spirit of the devil and he will depart. So fear is a sign that the devil is around you. And you can use that word of God, which is the Bible, to overcome him with prayer. Number two, overwhelming doubt. When you realize that you begin to doubt, then know that the devil is around you and is planning to do you bad. For one of the ways that the devil fight Christians from receiving answers from God is through doubt. James chapter 1 verse 6. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Such a one cannot receive something from God. So the devil uses doubting spirits to prevent Christians from receiving answers to their prayers, and by this keep them in continuous pains, sickness, poverty, sin, etc. And the way out is to trust in God with all your heart, and also read the mighty things that God did for others, so that your faith can be stirred up. When you hear about what God did for others, in time past, it will stir your faith up, and doubt will fade away. And by this victory will be sure. Number 3. Paralyzing Guilt Guilt is a great weapon that the devil uses against God's children. He will always come with the spirit of guilt to make you worthless in your own eyes before God. Anytime you feel guilt over past sins that you have been forgiven already, and it starts to overwhelm you, then just know that the devil has stir up his evil altar against you to fight you and bring you down. Guilt can cripple our spiritual walk and prevent us from experiencing the fullness of God's grace. But the way out is simple. Just try to remember the redemptive work of Jesus Christ on the cross how that he took that very sin to make you sin free. For he that knew no sin was made sin, that we should become the righteousness of God. More so, 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So just put your mind totally on what God did for you through Jesus Christ. And you will overcome doubt, which is an indication that demonic spirit are around you. I hope you are getting blessed already. 4. Relentless attacks on relationships. 
demonic altars often sow discord, causing havoc in our relationships. So when you begin to see misunderstanding among yourselves, it's an indication that the devil has come to kill, to steal and to destroy. But remember immediately that the Son of Man also came to give life and give it more abundantly than the damage caused by the devil. So at that instant of time, commit yourself to prayers. Pray for unity, remembering the wisdom of Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. 5. Suicidal thoughts. This is a strong, wicked demon that attacks the mind of people. It will make you feel that life is worthless, and that there is nothing worth living for. This spirit is a great leer and deceiver. He will begin to show you reasons why you just need to end your life at that junction. And listen to this carefully, many of the people the attacks are people with great destinies. He will predict their future and launch an attack on them to ensure that they never walked into that beautiful future ahead of them. Because the devil does not want anything good for you. When you begin to have a thought of committing suicide, then just know that evil altar from the dark kingdom of devil is around you and speaking dark things into your head. All you need to do at that time is to seek a very good spiritual person and talk to. He will advise you and pray for you. You also need to stop staying in lonely places at that time. More so, when desperate thoughts of darkness assail you, hold on to the promise from Psalm 34 verse 17 to 18, for the righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them, he delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And also remember this, that you are valued, you are loved. Don't let the devil deceive you that you are alone in this world, you are not alone. God is with you and we are with you spiritually praying for you to stand strong again. So calm down, Jesus loves you greatly. And the world needs you also, because the world cannot do without you. So please don't let the devil have his way. Number six, overwhelming depression. Depression has become one of the greatest arrow of the devil today against God's people. Anywhere you go, you will see people depressed. And this is a sign that the devil is there fighting hard to weigh you down both spiritually and physically. If you observe it any time you feel depressed, you lose interest in almost every other thing. And if it's not taken care of, it results to the thought of suicide. Depression is a formidable opponent that often leaves us feeling defeated. All you just need to do is to rebuke it away. And also meditate on the powerful words God in Psalm 42 verse 11. Why my soul are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God for I will yet praise him, my savior and my God. Another way to come out of depression is to praise God. If possible, you dance unto God, and also bring to mind all the good things you have enjoyed from God. When you begin to think this way, you will overcome it easily. 7. Captivity to addictions. This is a powerful sign that demonic altar is fighting you. You will find yourself under the yoke of sin, which looks like you can't set yourself free from. Addictions can ensnare someone, leaving that person powerless and trapped. Remember the liberating promise of God in Romans chapter 6 verse 14. For sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law but under grace. 8. Endless procrastination. Time is a precious gift, you can have everything at your disposal, but not time. For time they say waits for nobody, yet demonic altars can tempt us into delaying our purpose. Solution. Proclaim the wisdom of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. 9. Lack of spiritual passion. When the fire of passion seems to dwindle within, then just know that the devil will draw nearer to you. For the devil knows so well that he cannot touch you, what, nor attack you. And since staying with God has made you too hot and fireful for him, all he will do is to ensure that you lose the passion in staying in God's presence and to loose your fire, so that he can attack you. So when you find yourself in lack of spiritual passion, then run to God immediately. You can fast and pray to be revived back immediately. 10. Weak in faith when the devil is around a man. Such a person will feel his faith going weak daily, and he will soon begin to feel that God is not real. But brethren, listen to me. Let's not lose hope in Christ, for he is there to help us out of it all. When your faith wavers, recall the powerful message of Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. In conclusion, recognizing the signs of demonic altars and understanding their tactics empowers us to stand firm in our faith. Embrace the liberation offered by the love and power of Jesus Christ, who declared in John 16 verse 33, In this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world.
By wielding the sword of God's word, we can confidently overcome every challenge and emerge victorious in the battle against the forces of darkness. Stand firm in faith, for you are an overcomer. Now, bow your hearts, let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, I humble myself before your divine presence, seeking your grace and guidance for all who are listening to this now. I ask that you hear this earnest prayer that is saturated with the fervent desires of our hearts. O Lord, I beseech you to deliver us from the sinister altars of the devil that are waging war against us and our beloved ones. Break every unholy chain, shatter every oppressive stronghold, and dismantle every work of darkness that seeks to harm and hinder our paths. We implore your mighty hand to scatter the plans and schemes of the enemy, rendering them powerless against your children. Loving Father, look upon those who are entrapped by the bondage of addiction, whether it be to substances, habits, or harmful behaviors. You alone have the power to break every cycle of dependency and set the captives free. We entreat you, O God, to release your divine intervention upon all who are bound by the chains of addiction. Grant them strength to overcome, hope to persevere, and the unwavering faith to surrender their burdens into your loving embrace. Most wise and understanding God, we plead that you grant us the gift of discernment and insight. Illuminate our minds and open our hearts to perceive the truths embedded within your word. As we seek to understand the complexities of this world and our own existence, bring clarity to our thoughts and grant us divine wisdom to navigate through every challenging situation. Enable us to discern between good and evil, to choose righteousness, and to walk in the path that leads to your eternal presence. Divine Master, we surrender our lives into your capable hands, entrusting all our fears, anxieties, and burdens to your divine providence. We know that in you we find refuge and strength. Grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I trust you were blessed. Don't just be blessed alone, share it with another person out there, since it could be of great help to them. And don't leave without subscribing to this channel. So subscribe now. God bless you.